Hi, this is the. This is the what? Any podcast. This is the podcast for Mount Whitney. Who am I here with today? Uh, Mrs. Burleson. Mrs. Burleson. What teacher are you? I teach stagecraft, drama, and direct the shows. So how is it in drama? <laughs> it's fun. It's interesting at the beginning of the year, getting everything started. Yeah. Are the students compliant with you? For the most part, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Stagecraft, they're just learning how to use their tools, so we're just starting. Stagecraft, do you make the stage? Like yeah, we make all of our own sets and costumes and all of that stuff and props. If, well, we buy or make. So down there, so in your class there's a movie theater, right? Or that's, that's a drama? It's set up like a theater, yeah. Like a stage theater. You guys perform acts in there? Uh, no, we rehearse in there, but we perform all of our shows over at the Rotary Theater or at LJ Williams. Okay, okay. Are you, would you say you are a real pioneer, pioneer of pride, like spirit? Absolutely. Have you seen our recent game recently? I have not been to a game this year. You haven't? No. Yeah, well, our last game, yeah. it goes so well, so it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I will get to one or two this year. My husband also graduated from Whitney, so we usually go to Cowhide. Okay, okay. So, what did you, what did you say your other, um, your other uh, teaching job was? Uh, stagecraft. Intro to drama, advanced drama, and I direct the school shows. The shows? Mm -hmm. When's our first show? Our first play, fall play this year, is October 24th, 25th, and 26th. It's called Elsewhere. It is a drama. Um, there are some funny parts, but it's actually kind of scary and very serious. Yeah. Do the students in your class take it seriously? Like, very? The show kids, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. They put in a lot of hours and a lot of time into their shows. So they take even to their home? Their homework or like all their... Well, yeah, they have to memorize all their lines and things, so... Yeah, we're here every day for rehearsal until 6, 7, 8, sometimes 9 o'clock, so... On a school day? Yep. Man. <laughs> Yeah. How is your like theater set up? How is it set up? How is it set up downstairs? Yes. Um, we have the stage and then we have all the lighting equipment that's pretty old, doesn't work very well at all, some of it. Um, and then we have all of our seats are set up like theater seating, so they're like movie theater seats almost. And then um, it's supposed to be a working theater. We don't use it as such, but for years it was. They did all the shows here for like 30 years. How is your no phone policy? Mm. Well, it's important in drama to have no phone policy because I want kids to feel safe to try things and not be humiliated and not have things like recorded and used against them later. Yep. So um, I have my little phone pockets and they have to put their phones in their pockets. Everybody has a number and they don't get their points for the day if they don't put their phone in there. So how <laughs> is your grading based? On? Grading is based on um, performances, participation, and um, projects. And then in drama one, they have an actor's journal that they do. That's like homework. Okay, okay. Do you know your kind of friends, employees a lot? Like people around you that you get to know the other teachers? My coworkers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've been here for 22 years. So I know a lot of the other teachers, although now I'm one of the oldest ones on campus. So. Okay, okay. But yeah, I spend a lot of time with the history department. History? Yeah. Is that your favorite subject? That's what I used to teach before theater, so. Okay, okay. Uh, musical auditions are coming up at the end of October, so anybody that wants to be involved in Shrek, the musical, can come out and audition. You don't have to be a drama kid. You don't have to be a choir kid. Everybody can be in it, so. How much scenes are there? It's a two-hour show. Here? 
we'll be doing it at LJ Williams Theater, but yeah. How much um, arts, like... How many parts are there? Yeah. A lot. Because um, there are all the main characters, Sh uh, Shrek, Fiona, Lord Farquaad, Donkey, yeah. the dragon, and then there's tons of ensemble characters. Okay. You asked a lot of questions, though. Yeah. I did. Right off the top of your head. You need to come be in drama. What grade are you in? I'm a junior. Yep, 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 yep. Come down and join us. It's fun down there. I've had a couple of friends say it wasn't the funnest class. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because they didn't want to perform? Probably. I think it was. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think it's fun. Anthony took it for you three took years. You class? Two years? Three years. It's a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> the other major was, I don't know. History. History. How was your teaching in those years? It's good. I love my job. I love teaching. I love teaching high school kids. Um, it's tough. It's hard. <laughs> Requires a lot of time and energy and patience, but I love what I do. And I love being able to create a space on campus for kids where they feel safe and comfortable and feel like they have a home away from home. I tried to do that in my history classroom, and I definitely do that in my drama classroom. That's good, that's, that's nice. Hey, boy. My lip shot? Oh, all right, I just want to make sure. Um, okay. You see, you've been on this campus for 22 years? 22 years, yeah. I've been here a long time. Have you ever went to, what high school did you go to when you were I didn't grow up here. So I went to Downey High School in Modesto. Oh, okay, okay. Same as Mr. Howard. Howard? Yeah. You went to the same one? Yeah, same? same high school. Different different times. I'm older than him, but we went to the same school. We had the same choir teacher, drama teacher, and dance teacher. Okay. How was he? Do you know how he acted? How he was? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, because I had already graduated. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, but... Right. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I didn't go here. My kids went here, my husband went here, my uncles went here. So a lot of my family's gone to school here at Mount Whitney. We're kind of pioneers all the way around. I see. And the home games for football to show that you are a school spirit. Yes. Right well, yeah, and I coached cheer here for many years. For how long? Uh, six years, I think, I coached cheer, five or six years. And then um, I ran the safe and supportive schools grant for a while so that involved like a almost like a spirit club type mm -hmm. thing where we did like rooter buses to the games and stuff like that That's cool. so i've That's definitely cool. been involved in rallies and games and all the school stuff more about like uh favorite like shows and stuff or like difficulties shows Okay. Right. What is, yeah, let's go. What is your favorite show like performance? Like a play? Yes. Or a musical? My favorite musical is Les Miserables. Les Miserables. Les Mis. Yeah, that's my favorite of all time. Um, I go through like times where I'm like listening to one show more than another, but I always go back to that one. Um, I really love Hamilton. Hamilton. I think everybody does. Um. <laughs> Yes, okay. But yeah, I I love musicals, most of them. I like, I don't like, I like modern musicals more than the classics, just because they're less offensive and the music is a little bit better. Very interesting. Yeah, and Les Mis happens, and Hamilton both are like history and musical combined, so I like that. That's nice. And that is it for our podcast, and we are out. All right. Peace. Yeah.